You're listening to the Landing Page School Podcast, where we give you bite-sized insights on landing page design, A-B testing, and conversion optimization. If you want to convert more website visitors into customers, this is where it all starts. And now, here's your host, Nicholas Scalise. Hello and welcome to episode nine of the Landing Page School podcast. I'm your host, Nicholas Scalise, and today I'll be sharing seven books that every landing page optimizer should read. So there's a lot of books out there that are recommended for marketers to read. There's new books coming out all the time, and it can be quite challenging figuring out exactly what you should put on your reading list to give you the most up-to-date information and the most actionable information that you can actually use in your business or at your agency or when you build your own landing pages. So what I did is I put together a list of what I consider the seven essential books that will give you a pretty robust uh, background of landing page optimization, A-B testing, landing page design, conversion optimization, all the topics that we talk about here on the Landing Page School podcast. Uh, And these, really, you can't go wrong with any of these books. Um, But of course, it's a subjective list. It's my list. Um, And I would love to hear if you think there's a book that's missing or a book you'd replace. So if you have any feedback at all, uh, probably the best way to give that feedback is to join our free Facebook group called Landing Page Rockstars. Simply go to Facebook and search for a group called Landing Page Rockstars and hit that join button. It's free, and we talk about this stuff every single day. You can also go to landingpageschool.com slash group, and that will take you directly to the, the group. And I would love to see you in the group. Feel free to post your own suggestions for what books you find most interesting. So without further delay, let's get right to the list. So the seven books that I've chosen, we can break them down into a few different categories. There's two books on copywriting, two books on testing, one book on marketing psychology, one book on analytics, and one book on the principles of design. Now, these are not the only areas you need to study if you want to get good at conversion optimization and landing page design, but these are some of the bigger, more important areas. Uh, So it's definitely going to give you a well-rounded realm of knowledge to learn from. So let's get right to it. The very first book uh, that I want to recommend is called The Adweek Copywriting Handbook by Joseph Sugarman. If you ask most copywriters uh, what their favorite copywriting books are, this is almost always going to be on their list. Uh, From what I understand, it was previously published uh, under a different name. I think it was called The Advertising Secrets of the Written Word. So this is an older book, uh, but the current version that's available on Amazon, and let me say all of these books are available on Amazon, is called the Adweek Copywriter Handbook, or I'm sorry, the Adweek Copywriting Handbook by Joseph Sugarman. The uh, subtitle is The Ultimate Guide to Writing Powerful Advertising and Marketing Copy from One of America's Top Copywriters. And that's definitely true. Joseph Sugarman is a legend in the copywriting world. And this book, it's a very dense book, very actionable. And even though it's a, an older book, the principles that he talks about hold true even to today when when you're writing copy for your landing pages. So if there's just one copywriting book you should check out, I would definitely recommend the Adweek Copywriting Handbook. The second book I want to talk about is, I guess we would put this in the in the copywriting category, but it doesn't only talk about copywriting. It also talks a little bit about design and landing pages in general. And I guess the, the best way to think about it is it's about messaging. Uh, And that book is called Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. Now, if you've been listening to the podcast for a while, there's been multiple episodes where I've mentioned Donald Miller and his story brand framework. Uh, It's one of my favorite frameworks for uh, clarifying your message and coming up with the right headline and the right uh, copy on your landing pages. Um, And so he wrote a book all about his framework and his uh, system. So Building a Story Brand, the subtitle is clarify your message so customers will listen. And so Donald Miller, he has a very direct approach and it's all about simplifying your message. You do not want to confuse your visitor. He loves to say, if you confuse, you'll lose. Um, So this book is great. It gives you a good overview of the story brand concept. Uh, So check it out. 
I actually listened to the audio version of this, uh, which is not narrated by Donald Miller. Uh, I think he does a great job narrating the book. And uh, if you're into audio books, definitely check it out. You won't be disappointed. Now, Donald Miller also has a blog and he also has a podcast. Uh, check out storybrand.com and check out that podcast. It's one of my favorite podcasts to listen to. So that is the second book. Moving on to the third book, I would recommend learning more about A-B testing, right? And there's a lot of ways you can learn about A-B testing. Um, and the problem with reading a book about A-B testing is the information can be outdated pretty quickly. So I was trying to find a good A-B testing book that talks about the uh, fundamental concepts without talking too much about the technology of how to implement a test. Because as you know, as soon as those pages are, are printed, it's pretty much outdated if you're going to talk about specific tools or technology. So the best book I found that does a good job of talking about the concepts behind A-B testing is a book simply called A-B testing. And the subline is the most powerful way to turn clicks into customers. Now, this book was published in 2015, but like I said, it talks a lot about the foundational principles of A-B testing, what it is, why it matters, and some of the big concepts. It does get a little bit technical at times, and so those parts are not as actionable today as they were in 2015, but for the most part, this is going to give you a really good overview. Now, the reason I also like this book is that it was written by the co-founders of Optimizely, and Optimizely is a powerhouse in the A-B testing world. It's uh, enterprise-level software, very, very popular with landing page optimizers. So these folks really know what, they doing, what they're doing. They're, they practice what they preach, and there's a lot of data to support um, the principles that they talk about. So that's A-B testing, the most powerful way to turn clicks into customers by Dan Siroker and Peter Kuman. There's another analytics book that I want to cover, but this one is not about A-B testing. This is about uh, a different type of testing. This is about uh, qualitative testing. So we've done an episode in the past about qualitative feedback and qualitative analytics. Um, just to give you a quick refresher, so you have your Google Analytics type quantitative analytics, which is really important to have up and running on your landing pages so that you understand what's happening, how many visitors you're getting, how long they're staying on the page. But that type of quantitative data doesn't tell you why they're taking action or why they're not taking action. So that's why you need to do some qualitative feedback and you need to gather some qualitative data. So you can do that using qualitative tools like Hotjar, which we've talked about in the past. Um, but another way you can do it is to do usability testing, where you actually do one-on-one -on -one testing with participants who are going to navigate your site or your page and basically talk out loud as they figure out what it is that they're trying to do. And you observe this and you can learn from it. So that whole process of usability testing can be quite difficult uh, if you're going to do it from scratch and try to figure it out on your own. So what's better is to just use a, a system that's already been developed. And really the, the king of usability testing is Steve Krug. And he's the author of Don't Make Me Think. This is a book that's come out um, quite a while ago, but it was recently updated. Uh, it was updated. Now it's up to the third edition. And so check out Don't Make Me Think, A Common Sense Approach to Web and Mobile Usability. It's really the pinnacle book that's going to teach you the basics of what usability testing is and how specifically you should implement uh, usability testing for your landing pages. And it's a, it's a really fascinating topic. You can study usability testing, and that can become a, a whole you know, specific job. So there's a lot to it. The next book I want to mention, uh, I was recently at a conference, and this book was mentioned as the number one marketing book every marketer should read. Uh, the, the keynote speaker was saying that if someone has not read this book, they shouldn't call themselves a marketer. It's that important. Uh, and that book, you might have already guessed it, is Influence by Robert Cialdini. Uh, the subtitle is The Psychology of Persuasion. This is probably the most famous marketing psychology book uh, on, you know, that's been written. It's it's not a it's not a new book. It's been out for a while. I believe it was originally published 
Uh, well, it says here 2006. Uh, so it's been out for a little while. That's the revised edition. Um, but the principles that are mentioned in Influence are so important when it comes to landing page design and persuasion and marketing psychology. And if you are new to the world of, of marketing psychology and neuromarketing and all that interesting stuff, this is going to give you a, found, a, a great foundation and it's very actionable. So they're not, there's not a lot of theoretical um, you know, studies in here that you're never going to use. There is actionable information that's broken down um, in a few key principles, and you're going to see immediately how you can use those principles in your landing page copy, your design, how you craft your offer, how you create urgency. There's a lot to it. So if you're fascinated by that world of marketing psychology, definitely check out this book um, because it's it's really it's the number one book that most marketers uh, should read. So that's Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion by Robert Cialdini, and try to get the revised edition, which is um, been uh, it's been updated for the web, basically. The next book that I want to mention is Lean Analytics by Alistair Kroll. Uh, Lean Analytics is um, it's going to give you a good overview of analytics and what it is and what you should pay attention to without getting too technical with specific platforms. Because again, like we were talking about A-B testing, if you're reading a book trying to learn about analytics or A-B testing, the information can get outdated pretty quickly. So you want to learn the foundational principles that you can use uh, with pretty much any tool. And so Lean Analytics will give you that framework. Um, analytics is such an important area of landing page design and landing page optimization. You really need to study this and understand like what are uh, KPIs, key performance indicators, and which ones matter, and how should you measure them, and how do you know if the data that you're looking at is statistically significant, or if it matters, or if it doesn't, or if you're overlooking more important data. So all of those questions will be answered in Lean Analytics. So check out this book. It's a little bit dense. It's not the most, uh, I wouldn't consider it light reading, but um, you know, of this list, it's probably the book that is the most dense but it's gonna give you a really good foundation in analytics. And then last but not least, you want to read a book about design because we can't talk about landing page optimization without covering design. Now, design is an important component of landing page optimization, but it's not the only thing. Um, you can have, I've seen ugly landing pages that have converted much better than really visually well-designed landing pages. So usually, the copy and the offer is going to be more important than the design. But that's not to say you shouldn't still study good design. And a lot of marketers who uh, find themselves in the landing page optimization or conversion optimization space do not have a design background, uh, myself included. And so I had to learn this stuff on the fly. And so there's a lot of really cool uh, things that you, that you, well, would probably be common sense for a designer that are not common sense for a marketer. So the book that I recommend you check out if you want to get up to speed on design is called The Non-Designer's Design Book. And right now, I believe it's in the fourth edition. The author's name is Robin Williams. And this is a great book because it's um, it covers all different types of design. And it talks about color theory, talks about typography, talks about layout. There's a whole bunch of different topics in there. Um, the chapter on color and color theory alone is worth its weight in gold because you have to understand how to use colors when it comes to landing pages because colors play a crucial role in making sure your messaging is clear, making sure your call to action stands out, and you don't want to use colors in a way that's going to confuse or irritate your visitor. So there's a lot to it. Um, and also, if you've ever struggled figuring out the best way to pair fonts together, that's going to be covered in this book. So that's the Non-Designers Design Book, 4th edition. So there you have it. Those are seven books that I would recommend you check out if you want to get up to speed on the principles of conversion optimization, landing page design, and A-B testing. Obviously, there's a lot of other books out there, so this is just a starting point. Um, if you want to get this entire list written down, simply visit the show notes for this episode at landingpageschool.com slash 009. And also, before you go, I want to do a special uh, contest of sorts where 
you can actually win the hard copy edition of all seven of these books. So I looked it up on Amazon. All of these books are worth about $150 uh, US dollars combined. And I want to give away a complete set of these seven books to one random uh, listener of this podcast. All you have to do is uh, leave an honest rating and review for this podcast. You can leave it on iTunes, Google Play, wherever you want. And then email me at hello at landingpageschool.com. Let me know you left a review and maybe add a link to where you left the review. And then I will randomly select one listener who's going to receive all seven hard copy editions of these books. So once again, just leave it, leave a review. Email me at hello at landingpageschool.com, let, letting me know you left a review, and you'll be entered to win a copy of all seven of these books. So that's it. If you have any questions, of course, you can always email me at hello at landingpageschool.com or join that Facebook group that I mentioned earlier by searching on Facebook for Landing Page Rockstars. Thank you so much for listening to this episode, and I will see you in the next one. The Landing Page School Podcast is a production of Earnworthy LLC. 